Guys. 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 So at the very beginning of the year, I gold myself to hit an investment account of having $20,000 total. And today, if you have read the title already, is that day. Our Robinhood account did just surpass $20,000. So let's go ahead. Let's not waste any time. Let's jump right into it. We're going to break down my stocks and we're going to see exactly what happened to get us to the point of having an investment account at only 19 years old of $20,000. So here we are on the Robinhood account, and as you can see, we are at $20,087. We went up 1.09% 1, 1 in the normal market hours and 9% in after hours, meaning we were up a total of 1.18%, or overall somewhere around $234 for the day. For the week, we are up $840, which is about 4.3%. For the month, we are up $2,388. The last three months, we are up $2,278, and overall, we are up $3,915. And I do want to remind you guys that I actually did have another account on the month finance. I was up $500 in profit from Stag Industrial. I did then sell on that account and move all that money here. So we are up an additional $500 on top of the $3,915, so we're up about $4,415 total in the course of about eight months. First up, we have Store Capital. As you guys do know, this is the biggest position that I have in my account. Count. We are certainly sitting at 221 shares at an average cost of $18.47. The market value of this has grown to $6,127, which takes up about 30.5% of my portfolio. The crazy thing about it is we are currently sitting at a $2,041 return on store capital at the moment. We went up $115, and as you can see, the day was not pretty, to say the least. We started, we were up a good amount. I believe we were up about, yeah, about 1%. At some point, we were down over around 1%, and it has slowly risen back up, and over the day, it went up about 1.9%, which is absolutely phenomenal. I've been calling this with Store Capital. If you have kept up with my channel and you do know that, you know, I have been preaching to buy this stock for months on end. This is a stock I have full faith in. The dividend at the moment is 5%, which is absolutely beautiful, and it's just an all-around amazing stock. As you can see, in the three months that it is starting to reach its all-time highs, or let's say this year highs since February-ish, ever since the pandemic began, and I don't believe this train ends anytime soon. I believe that it is still a good time to get in. This is not me saying to buy the stock, but I'm just saying that in my opinion, it's definitely worth checking out. One thing to note about Store Capital, if you do go ahead and take a look at the percentage that I have made back that I'm currently right under, and I'm gonna go ahead and give it to myself, I have made a 50% return on this stock since I purchased it. I put in about $4,000, I've currently made about $2,000, and I honestly cannot cannot even begin to explain how happy that makes me. This is an investment that I took a little bit of a risk on. I wasn't 100% sure on it, and then you know, as I did my research, I became more and more confident, and I just went for it, and I cannot say enough how happy I am to be able to see that these investments and this research that I'm doing is starting to pay off. Next up on the list, we have Apple. Now, if you are invested in Apple or Tesla or any of the big tech stocks that have had these splits recently, you know as well as I know that that today was definitely not the best day for the tech industry. Apple is down 2.07% for the day. I believe Tesla was down almost 9% at some point today. I haven't checked up on it, so maybe I'll go take a look at it. But let's go ahead, let's take a look to see exactly how Apple has been performing over the last month because I've only had these shares for about five to six weeks now. So after the stock split, I am currently sitting at 37.94 shares, coming up on 38 shares here. My average cost is $103.81. The stock price is at $131. So you can already see that there's a lot of gain there. We're currently sitting on a market value of $4,991, and that takes up right under 25% of my portfolio. Today, we were lost about $100, which is about 2% of our total market value. Honestly, I'm not complaining, though. I felt like it is very healthy for these stocks to take a break. I really don't like whenever stocks just can just continue to fly to the sky because it gets really sketchy and I feel like they're kind of becoming a little bubble-ish. Some can say it about the tech sector. I personally am not buying it, so I'm still putting money into them. But hey, I guess the future will tell us what we need to know. So if you do go ahead and take a look at our total return, we're sitting at a total return of $1,052 or 26.7%. And the crazy thing about that is that I actually only purchased these shares in the middle of July. So we're coming up on about six weeks here since I purchased them. And the fact that we are already seeing a near 27% return just shows kind of how good of an investment at the time they were for the short term obviously for the next couple months we don't know what will happen will they dip will they fly we really don't know but I can say that for the short term this is no doubt one of the best investments that I have ever made and I'm very very happy seeing the you know amount of shares I am approaching 50 now I know there was a stock split and everything but that doesn't take away from the happiness that I have knowing that I own almost 38 shares of Apple next up on the list we have one of my favorite stocks of all time one of the safest and one of the best companies that exists on the 
this planet, in my personal opinion, and that's Coca-Cola. Coca-Cola had an absolutely phenomenal week, an absolutely phenomenal day. For the day, they are currently up 4.2%, which is just absolutely amazing. Coca-Cola had some amazing news today, which has propelled them up 4.6%. I currently have 63.29 shares at an average cost of $45.31. This makes the market value for my holdings in Coca-Cola at $3,253, which is about 16.2% of my portfolio. Now, just today alone, we were up $144.31, which is about, again, 4.6%. And that takes our total return all the way up to $385.52, which is about 13.44%. Uh, 13 the crazy thing about that is Coca-Cola has been struggling recently. If we do go ahead, we take a look at the month. They've had a very stagnant month. It's been up and it's been down and it's really not gone anywhere. But as you can see in the last couple weeks here, they have just been absolutely flying through this roof. This week alone, they're up almost 6.6%, which is just absolutely mind boggling. Once again, let's not forget that they do pay a dividend of 3.25%. I think my yield on cost, the dividends that I get paid from them is somewhere around 3.7%. And, you know, it's just absolutely insane. This stock is doing amazing. I know they did release that they were putting out some type of like um, Alka-Seltzer drink type thing. Don't quote me on that. I know that I need to definitely research myself. But I know that they're making changes and the fact that they are still being adaptive and they're making these, you know, new evolution movements and everything like that right now. Being as well established of a company that they are is just absolutely phenomenal and, an, um, you know, just an amazing sign. For me, because, you know, one thing that does make me nervous about companies like this is that they start to once they get older, they start to just hold true to their ways. They're like, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. But no, Coca-Cola is not like that. They're like, boom, what can we do to continue growing? What can we do to continue dominating and getting even more countries? And that's something that makes, you know, me as an investor very, very happy. And I feel like we're going to see those returns over the long run because of their adaptiveness and their, you know, OK and willingness to evolve. Next up on the list, we have Microsoft. Now, Microsoft also had a very amazing day. They were up about 1.93%. It was a rough day, but it was good overall at the end of the day. I, as you can see, I do have a Microsoft dividend pending of about $5.78, but currently we have 11.32 shares with at an average cost of $199.16. It makes me very happy whenever I go look and see the cost of Microsoft at $231. Now, of course, I would like for it to be a little bit lower so I could buy a few more shares, but seeing that I am making these returns obviously brings a lot of joy to my heart. The market value for my holdings in Microsoft set at $2,625, and that holds about 13.07% diversity in my portfolio. Now, for the day, I was up about $51.30, or right under 2%. Total return, I am up about $369.95, and that totals out to about 16.39%. Once again, that is an absolutely phenomenal number. Microsoft is one of the holdings I have for a little bit longer, so seeing that the, you know, the percentage is a little bit higher doesn't really surprise me, because once again, I bought a lot of these stocks at the lowest of the market. So seeing them growing definitely doesn't surprise me, but in no way does it not make me feel satisfied and overjoyed to see the growth that I am seeing. Next up on the list, we have the dark night of my portfolio, and that's going to be Aflac. Aflac had a very decent day today. It's up about 0.54% in you know normal hours. It wasn't moving at all during aftermarket hours. I have about 43.65 shares of Aflac at an average cost of $34.63. Now, the current stock price is sitting about $2.27 above what I purchased them at. So definitely seeing some growth there the market value of my you know 43 shares is one thousand six hundred and eleven dollars and four cents which takes up about eight percent of my portfolio now today's return was about eight dollars and fifty six cents which compared to the other numbers of course doesn't seem like much but once again every single dollar that i make is a dollar i wouldn't have had and i definitely am not complaining whatsoever i'm currently looking at a total return of ninety eight dollars and ninety one cents which is about six point five percent return overall from my investment in Aflac, and I'm honestly not mad about it. I'm looking to see about seven, eight, nine percent from them every year. So seeing a 6.5% already is definitely something that I'm very excited about. They do pay a dividend of 2.96, which I, my yield on cost, I believe is about 3.2, 3.15, something like that. So seeing a 6.54% gain in value of stock, plus another 3% roughly from dividends every single year is something worthwhile. I'm very happy about my Aflac holdings. And once again, I do want to get this to about 10 to 15% of my portfolio. So definitely 
do not be surprised if you see me adding more money into this stock and growing that position up to have a larger player in my portfolio. Next up on the list, we have Visa. I got $1.43 from Visa in dividends today. I did go ahead and reinvest that. I know it's not a lot, but hey, once again, compounding works in mysterious ways. I'm currently sitting at 4.78 shares at an average cost of $194.04. Considering the stock price is at $216, that does put me somewhere around $21, $22 gain. So I'm definitely not complaining. And that's a gain per every stock that I own. I'm at a market value of $1,035.81. So it takes up about 5.16% of my portfolio. Today, I gained $14.97 off of this stock, and that puts me at $107.38 total return, which is about 11.5%. Now, once again, Visa, I know it holds a little bit of a smaller you know, position in my portfolio, So, de but definitely do not take that as me not having as much faith in them. Realistically, the reason that this the only reason honestly that this stock doesn't have such like a much bigger value in my portfolio is simply for the fact that over the last month i've been shoveling money into apple as much as i possibly could so i didn't have time to work on this one as much but don't take don't get me wrong at all now that the stock split has happened once i start getting these paychecks again i'm definitely going to be putting money into visa and growing that position as much and as fast as i possibly can because you guys know what i've been saying this credit card evolution is already in full effect and i believe that these credit card companies are on the road to the moon last but not least in my robin hood account we have arc f now i'm not going to get into it again because i know every single video i just go on this tangent about how much i love this company if you do want to see any of the videos where i do talk about how much i love them or you want to know why i love them so much definitely click the link above or link below i do have a video link that'll basically explain what i talk about and how much i really just love the investments that they've made and the holdings that they have in this etf arc f did have a very you know meh day today it was definitely not up not down that much it was down only 0.1 percent so it's not that much at all if we do look i do have 10.64 shares at an average cost of 35 dollars and 22 cents the market value of this holding is 442 dollars so that only takes up 2.2 percent of my portfolio once again do not get it wrong that just because this is a smaller holding does not mean i am taking them any less serious once again i put a lot of money into apple recently but these smaller positions are about to be the ones that i start fueling and throwing fuel into the fire i have full faith that arc f is going to hit the 70s and 80s one day and i definitely want to make sure that i increase my position to take a lot of those profits now if you do take a look i lost about 42 cents today i'm not really complaining that much but i am up about 67 dollars and 60 cents which is about an 18 percent return considering i did buy this stock only about four or five weeks ago i'm definitely very satisfied with that even if this stock was to stay stagnant for the next year i would not complain as that percentage is what i look for every year or two years honestly because i look for about eight nine ten percent between seven and ten realistically every single year for my holdings so whenever we're looking at 20 percent already i cannot complain whatsoever and as per usual we will go ahead and take a look at my acorns account my acorns account is currently sitting at 170 dollars and 75 cents we have made a profit of about $9.84, which is about 6.11%. So I definitely cannot complain about that. I never really go into much depth about my Acorns account because it is quite simple. So I am looking at almost, we're coming up on $200 in my Acorns account. And you know, I absolutely love it just because it's so passive. I check this thing maybe once or twice a week. I honestly just forget about it on it usually. And so coming in here and realizing I have a little bit of extra money put aside is an amazing feeling as well. I did just want to take a quick second before the video ends to thank you guys so, so, so much. We hit 400 subscribers four days ago, and currently we're sitting at 450 subscribers. I really don't know what's going on, but I know I do have a lot of new guests to the channel. I know a lot of you guys who are just new to the channel, you might not know me. So definitely take a look at these videos here. If you do want to keep an update with me and you are new to the channel as well, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Comment anything you would like to see from me as I love putting out videos that you guys like to see. Smash that like button if you did enjoy this video, and please let me know if you did stick around to the very end. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.